Irish recipes start with Odlums. Proud sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM. Yeah. Now, one of the fun jobs in the run-up to Christmas is the Christmas cake icing. And the lovely Catherine Layden is here to show us how to do it. Do we need to be professional decorators Not here? Not at all, but there's ready to roll icing nowadays. It's a cinch. It's a cinch. I love the way you say it's... <laughs> It's a great job. If you had 20 cakes to ice, wouldn't be that great, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's a great job, and I've never actually attempted it once. But uh, yeah, maybe this is the Christmas for me. Is okay. it too late to bake the cake? Catherine? A little bit, a little bit on the late side now. A You've only got four days tips. to run. By the time you cool it, let the booze go into it, and then put on your almond paste. No, you're and done. Tempting fate a bit. You're and done. You. This yeah. one's fair, isn't it? You can make a plum pudding. <laughs> <laughs> make a plum pudding instead. Yeah. Okay. Now, obviously, you, you have to ice. That's the traditional Christmas cake that we all see in the shops. Correct. But you don't have to buy it. You can do it yourself. Absolutely. Now, first of all, if we go back to four or five weeks ago when we made the cake, we took it out of the tin, left the lining paper on it, wrapped it in greaseproof paper, tin foil, left it in a cool, dry place. Yes, we did. Then, yesterday, take it out of the wrapping. Um, Brush the top of the cake with melted or gold melted apricot jam or golden syrup or honey. Okay. Brush over it and apply your almond paste as I'm going to apply the ready to roll icing in a minute. So you have to have this layer here, this almond paste layer, before you put on the icing. Exactly. exactly. Why is that? No. Well, it's, it's traditional to have the cake, the almond paste, and the white okay. icing. Okay. As well as that, it gives a much smoother surface for the white icing to go on. Okay. So it, will, it will look better. It'll yeah. look more now, professional. You might, <laughs> as I said, you. You put the melted golden syrup or honey on top of the cake, that's to sterilise it and to grip the almond paste. But to apply the icing, you brush with alcohol. Okay. How do you make the almond paste? Now, the almond paste is made with um, ground almonds, icing sugar, caster sugar, egg and sherry a lot of people use or any kind of um, flavouring, whiskey, brandy or rum as well. There's plenty of okay. booze in this cake, Catherine. Isn't a fair bit of booze in it, all right, yeah. We yeah. poured a fair bit onto it now the last day, I can well, tell you. We definitely now, did. I wouldn't want to light a flame near it. Brush the cake well with the alcohol. Okay. And what does that, that sterilises using? the cake. That's brandy, actually. Brandy, yeah. okay. That sterilises the cake, Kira, and it also um, attaches the white icing to it. Okay. Now, a tip for the white icing. You soften it up when you take it out of the box and to make, to make it pliable. You then dust your work surface with either sieved icing sugar or I'm using today some corn flour. And a tip for people, now it doesn't apply at the moment because wintertime is quite cold, but if you're using ready to roll icing for a wedding cake um, in the summertime when the weather is quite hot, it's safer to use the corn flour, not the icing sugar. Why is that? Because the icing sugar can cause it to get kind of sticky. You know, when you're, it won't dry as quickly. A disaster. Right. Quickly. Does anybody actually make uh, icing anymore, Catherine? No. Um, really? Some, some of the traditionists still do, Kira, and they usually make what's known as a royal icing, which is not this ready to roll icing. It's a icing. It's um, egg whites beaten and then beat in some sieved icing sugar. But that's most people are resorting to this nowadays. A, a bit of a cheat, but look, sure, if you've made the cake and you've made the paste. And it's Absolutely. two days to go before Christmas. And as well as that, Kira, you get a nice smooth finish on the cake. Yeah, but you so might now get just, your own. Now, how do you put it on? Just apply it like this. So it doesn't oh. crack? No. Well, it should crack. You get a pliable first, Kira, by softening it up with your hands as I did. Okay. Now just spread it out. Now spread it over the top. Now don't panic. Sometimes you may get some air bubbles in it. Yes. Just lift it and let them out. We're lucky we haven't got any here today. So just what a pro. bring up a sheen or a shine on it, okay? Just use now, your bare hand. Your warm hands. Some of the experts recommend you use um, a silk scarf. But to be honest with you, I'm not wasting yeah. my good silk scarf. <laughs> exactly. On a Christmas yeah, cake. Yeah, warm hands are better, yeah. So just work your way around, pressing it down. Now, some people like to bring the icing right out to the edge of the board, but I don't. So, well, sometimes I do, depending on the size of the board. But I'm just going to trim this off now. Well, I like it with the, what you've over here, that it's nice and neat. And then you put it the, very simple? Yeah, and yeah. you put the bow around it. And just put a little bit of red ribbon around it, which we're going to do now. So you can't now, see the edges. you saw me earlier, yeah, just simply to put you know, the edges, making those little stars yes. that we completely coated that cake there with. Yeah, look, could you just now. put this extra layer on top, you can see in the finished yep. product. So that's usually your leftover icing. And it's exactly. just, look, at exactly. one of the cutters. Yeah, the They're the simple cutters, you can get them anywhere. So I'm we're just, just going to... Make, make sure, sure that's nice shine and it, shiny. Shine it. Now we're just going to take some of the ribbon and just make sure you've Work got your Christmas, Christmas your yeah. trees standing up and not going down. Yeah. <laughs> which can happen very easy. A Christmas disaster. Uh, yeah. So now, okay. so you just cut hold that. that there. We want to cut it. And it's a nice present for somebody, isn't it? Lovely present. How many of these did you make? You don't want to know. <laughs> Approximately. <laughs> Are we talking more than 20? 
15 cakes. 15 this year, yeah. Do you actually eat it then, come Christmas Day, or do you hit the side of it? I love it. Do you? <laughs> well, Sign <laughs> on, I love Christmas cake. <laughs> now, you love it. Well, well, going to. Now, don't st a lot of people stick pins in the cake and they go missing. A little bit of icing yeah, don't and this do does that. the piping. Now, okay. another idea, just to finish it off. Where's my yes. alcohol here? I used the various size stars. So instead of putting them all over the cake, I'm just going to put them like... In the centre. In the centre, one on top of the other. And use alcohol again to make it stick. Make it stick, exactly. I think you're just looking for an excuse to put it in, Catherine, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> you got me. Now, okay, you, you can also them all get up the like younger that. people, the younger generation as well, to put little silver balls or whatever on top, or yeah. red dots or whatever. And you can buy so, all of these pretty handily, yeah, can't you? You can, of course. You can. Have I got them looking right? You've got that looking gorgeous. This is the other finished product here. Which has uh, all the stars all over it. Another one here. Yep. We have our mince Just pies. We've got biscuits. We made the mince pies a few weeks ago, and, and we made our plum pudding, and that can be served with the old whipped cream or brandy butter. Or brandy butter. I or love both. the brandy butter. Or both. Or gorgeous both. Catherine. We've that already. Thank you so here much. Here we go. My it's pleasure. Perfect. We're like to cut through or do we have to wait to Christmas Day? No, we're going to cut one now if you want to. Oh, thank the Lord. We'll have it during the break. Thanks, have Catherine. it during the break. Here we go. <laughs> After the break, you can see how I got on when I met the one and only Will Smith to chat about his new movie, Collateral Beauty, and Christmas in the Smith household. Stay tuned. Great recipes start with Odlums. Brand sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM.